The regional and local elections were held this Sunday in Venezuela, with the United Socialist Party of Venezuela winning 20 of the 23 governorships in dispute. To know more details about the results and the outcomes, we go with our correspondent Ryan Mir for more on-the-ground information. The Venezuelan mega-elections, which saw millions of people come out and vote for 3,082 public offices, including governors, mayors, city councilors, legislators, come to a close. We are listening to a report by the International Observers Commission on Venezuela's regional elections. And there's a few At takeaways first, from the experience. I spent the day Polanco, yesterday visiting different polling from centers, the International watching Network of watching people vote, witnessing the transparency and the efficiency of the Venezuelan election process, which should be used as a model for countries all around the world. As the results came in, it became clear that the ruling the PSUV party was going to make gains. It picked up three state Back governor's here. offices. Now Working. it has control of 20 of Venezuela's 23 the states, South. plus the mayor's office of the capital district, which is Caracas. The conservative coalition, MUB, <laughs> Movimento Unión Democrática, has boycotted the last three elections. This was their first time back, and it looks like their strategy backfired. They were able to pick up only two governor's offices. Now, it's important to remember that in 2017, they began a campaign to convince people not to vote in Venezuela. The, the Socialist Party so won 20 of the, the 23 governorates, and Chile goes to a second what they, round of elections. They're calling low turnout of 41% comparable to the Chilean presidential election turnout in Haiti, and two of over the 17 missionaries kidnapped on October 16th by an armed gun were They're released. They're ignoring the fact that part of the reason is that the right wing demobilized its own electorate. And so now they've come back into the elections. It looks like they haven't been able the to reconvince them. The leaders of China and the Association of Southeast Asian which, Nations which, after all, agreed to deepen cooperation the to help United the region recover from embargoes, the COVID-19 pandemic. Which the Center for Economic and Policy Research blames on at least 40,000 deaths in, in, in Venezuela. So for now, it looks like the Bolivarian project is stronger than ever. From the headquarters of the Lesbian English in Havana, more from Cuba, you in the upcoming missions.